Welcome to KDOL Community Spotlight, the Oakland Unified School District's Community Affairs Show, highlighting district leaders helping to meet the goal to graduate all students prepared for college and career. I'm Shonda Scott, your host, and today our spotlight is on Supervisor Keith Carson of the Board of Supervisors for Alameda County and a wonderful project that he's actually highlighting in one of the Oakland public schools called the Ancestry Project, and it's held at McClyman's High School in Oakland. So, Supervisor Carson, thank you for coming. Well, thank you very much for having me, Shonda. I've seen your show many, many times. <laughs> I just want to go on record saying Oh, that. thank you. Well, it's good to know that you're yeah. seeing it, and I'm glad to have you as a guest. And also, congratulations on Vice Presidency for the Board of Supervisors. Thank you very much. Great achievement. Well, the Ancestry Project, mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to find out more about how you came up with that idea and how you decided to you know, premiered in Oakland schools. Yeah, um, actually came up because of a uh, passion that I've always had for history, and especially history of where we come from as African American people. And so there has been some prominent time periods in our in our existence as African Americans, uh, actually from Africa, and when we were there, and actually looked at as a place where people came from all over the world to be educated and everything. And then there was a time of slavery, and but then there's this great migration time period that happened right after slavery where over three million people, African Americans who had been formerly slaves, moved to other parts of the United States. And that's really where we get our origins here in the East Bay and other places, New York City and places like that. And I thought it was very important that young people in particular get a sense of who they are by way of studying the ancestry. And we really wanted to go not just towards uh, families that uh, kind of already coexist, but we re really reached out to um, a number of young people who are foster youth, yeah. uh, kids who are in uh, special programs at Berkeley High, and in McClyman's they have an ongoing program there. So we wanted to get right to the, to, to the, uh, the grassroots to have people find out about their history, their roots. I am a part of the African American Genealogical Society of Northern California. Um, our program has partnered with with Keith Carson's office uh, to help the students uh, do uh, genealogical research on their families and to um, help them uh, just uh, discover more about who they are um, as people. So I'm the lead staff um, from Supervisor Carson's office that helped kind of formulate the project. Um, so I helped manage it myself, Hannah Green, and Reginald James. We are a team within our office that go to, we have three sites actually we go to, and we just go to the sites and meet with the kids and talk to them about the project and so. I'm a mentoring coach here at McClimates, and the reason why I partnered um, with Officer Keith Carson because personally knowing who you are is so important. And when I was 18 years old, I had an opportunity to go to Africa, and I went to Ghana and was able to go back to you know Africa. So it was amazing. And when this idea came, it was almost like these because I have majority ninth graders, and these ninth graders get an opportunity to actually. Um, figure out who they are and they don't have to do it when I, when they're 27 or you know 30 or 40 years old and they have the opportunity to pass something down for, for generations to come and also to be interested and know how to use the search engines know what mulatto means know what all these different things mean and so um, when I seen that that opportunity I was like it's gonna be golden for the kids and that's exactly who I thought about because if they're in ninth grade and they're taking an interest in it now they're gonna be so much further by the time they get into their mid-20s now, did you do this kind of research on yourself? Were you able to go? I know the Mormon Temple has a facilities where you can mm -hmm. go and find out where you've come from, your lineage and everything. Were you There's able to a number of genealogical uh, groups that are around, including African-American genealogical mm -hmm. societies that help people find out about their roots. Uh, my parents came from Texas, mm -hmm. both my mother and my father, and they never, ever wanted to talk about where they came from. Yeah, so unfortunately, although I was very close to my father, he died without giving me a sense of who he was and where he came from. They just didn't want to talk about it. And we found that a lot of these kids have ran into a couple of speed blocks, or roadblocks, mm -hmm. if you will. Their parents didn't want to kind of talk about where they came from. They were afraid to approach their grandmothers or their uh, uncles or aunts to ask them questions. Uh, and they had to, uh, had to find different ways in which to do the research in addition to going up and finding about this great library that's an international library right here in Oakland up at the Mormon Temple that's open to everybody. You don't have to be a Mormon or of any faith. Uh, you can be from West Oakland, East Oakland, you can be from any place. 
guys and go up there and they'll teach you how to start to do the study on your family. I just want to commend you on all the great work you're doing and have been doing throughout your tenure as a Board of Supervisor. And so um, congratulations and thank you for your service. Well, thank you very much. And again, I appreciate that I get my stimulus from individuals such as yourself and others who are very active in the community. It's, it really takes all of us to make a, a better difference in our own community. That is true. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. You've been watching KDOL Community Spotlight. I'm Shonda Scott, your host, and our spotlight today was on Vice President of the Board of Supervisors, Mr. Keith Carson, who is a partner and a friend and an ally of the Oakland Unified School District, where we have community schools and thriving students. Thank you for joining us. Well, we have the Ready to Learn Fair, fair that we do every year, oh, okay. which is uh, for children who are basically preschool and entering school. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we bring a number of resources for the families and the parents, and we host that um, every year. So we're going to probably be doing that um, around September time okay. period is normally when we have it. We had it at Manzanita School. Mm -hmm.